Take out the papers in the trash. You Are you taking those spending cash? If you don't scrub that kitchen floor, you ain't gonna rock and roll no more. Yuckety yuck. Don't talk back. <laughs> We are live for a change. And how are you today? In the clan cave. So we're just going to get the device up for the comments. Oh. Well, we are live here. There we go. So Friday afternoon, you've got Tilly Pops on your chair, on your lap. Give it a big lux. Um, um, Tilly Pops wanted to be involved today, so... Um, uh, Feel right. a bit left out. Right, teleport slide in. Go on, good girl. Right. BB's on, bout your lads. Oh, thanks, BB. Bout yeah. Well, I don't have a uh, means of reading comments. Ah, yes. I forgot to get my iPad. You're just gonna have to lean. Lean. Who else is on? Rahu Ram. Rahu Ram, how are you? Kilty Bear's on. Big Puppy. Daniel Millard. Hey, Raven Steven. Happy Friday. Burl's on as well. Good morning. Hey. Of course, it'll be morning for everyone in of the Of course, States. yeah. It's half past two here in the afternoon. Somebody, Dario Souza, hey, hola, de Soto, Argentina. I gave it my best shot. Right, that, was, that was pretty good. Did you like that one? I understood every single word of it. Greg Thomason, morning, mates. Morning, Greg. The old lady next door getting her bin. Holly Dolly's waved, but it's not appeared on me yet. Well, there we are, Holly Dolly. This one's slightly behind the main screen. I hope you're not driving and waving, Holly, because that's completely legal. She's like, yo hoo, big summer <laughs> blood. <laughs> <laughs> now, just while I mentioned Holly, we'll just get this out of the way nice and early. Oh, yes. Holly got his, uh, well, it was kind of like a half clan clan cave warming, and then it then suddenly changed into a celebration. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. so we've, we've got a bit of a secret project that we're with yesterday. We're not going to give away too much, otherwise yeah. it wouldn't be a secret, right? We've got something to tell you, but we can't tell you anything about it. <laughs> not yet, anyway. So, Holly was, like, over the moon, yeah. happy for us, so... She got ooh, the Glen Limit. Oh, and it's the, is it the code that's called? I think so. I think you need a secret code to get in it. I'm sure this is one that's a black. Oh, this looks smooth. Look at this. Oh, that's that bad beautiful. boy. Happy days. Thank you, so that's going to go on our <laughs> shelf. Right, like get it here. So. Thank you, Holly Dolly. We really appreciate it. Yes, thank you, Holly. We really actually do appreciate just it. Just leave that black bottle sitting there, right? Yep. We'll so apparently the code, code, she told us about the code when we went to the Glenlivet distillery and they said that nobody knows how old it is, what um, how what, what um, casks it was yeah. it was settling in. Um, the whole point of it is that you, you taste it yourself and you make up your own mind. But um, they said it's like a minimum of... Is it minimum five years? Yeah, it has to be minimum five years. But yeah, um, yeah there's all sorts of things. And the whole point of it is you get the code and you try and uh, decide yourself what it tastes of rather than reading pasting notes and everything else. So it's like a secret bottle. Daniel Garza, cheers from New York. And Sawyer's hi, I'm stuck in town flipping traffic. Flipping traffic. Put the kilted sign in the sky and just go for it. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly run it out and grab my iPad. He's playing me. Left out, right, 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 time. Wait, 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 wait. Then you've got to get the door stop out as well. Three, two, one, go. Telepops, you stay there. I'll just do shout outs while I'm waiting and keeping everybody company. Good morning from Coyote. Kelly Lydon's on. Good morning. Um, Rick's on. Good day from Augustus, Maine. Casey's on. I'm, go I'm gosh, I'm jealous of that whiskey. Now, um, tomorrow I have got a live workout again. So it's going to be 3 p.m. my time, which is Greenwich Mean Time plus one. And stop. That was quick. So yeah, if you are wanting another live workout we like did last week, we'll be doing the warm up on our Instagram page, which our handle is at the Kilty Coaches, and then the main workout will be here on YouTube. And all you'll need is a kettlebell, and we're going to step up slightly. Last week we put the difficulty as allegedly easy, allegedly easy. I think that was the actual so difficulty. Now it's going to be easy stroke moderate, so we'll, we'll build it up a bit. So those that are interested, they can make it. See you tomorrow. Uh, Joey Gal's on. Joey, Joey, Joey. You just loading up. I am. So if anybody's commenting on Facebook at the moment, I do apologise. He'll get there eventually. Um, so for those that want to lose weight and haven't done so already, this is the best place to start. Like right here in the clan cave. In the in the clan cave, we'll tell you how. Um, so we've we've had our um, our secret recipe for a while. 
and every now and again we tell everybody about it and people go and download it. Yeah, so um, it's, it's, Thomas, it's, yeah, it's available all the time. Um, it's our fat loss ebook. So what we've done is we've got a bunch of principles that we, we believe in and every single program that we design will follow these principles, uh, the nutrition principles and the exercise principles. Um, there's a little bit of kind of psychology in there, sort of mindset. Um, and we just put it all in an ebook. And it's yours for free. Tilly, come on. Lie down. All you have to do is go and download it. And you can download it straight from the website, is that right? Uh, yes, it can. Yeah. So um, if you're on Facebook, you can just send us a, a private message just with one word only, yeah. ebook. And we've got an Autobot. Autobots. Not a Decepticon. <laughs> <laughs> we've got an Autobot Robot. that will. Uh, we'll read the word ebook um, and as long as it's by itself and then it'll send you the link. Or you can just go to our website, thekiltedcoaches.com and in the menu there is a fat loss ebook and you just pop in your email address and we send it straight to you. Yeah, you get stuck in about that, you get your weight loss going. Um, Cheryl's on, hello coaches. Rachel's on as well, hello everybody. Ron Grant saying it's cold and raining here. I forget where you're from, Ron. Let us know. Yeah, where is Ron? We must be due somewhere. It's starting to get cold now. Do you know what? It was cold today. The sun was out. I went for a walk with Tilly, and the sun was out, and it was, it was really fresh. It was nice, but it was cold. Yeah. Um, I had uh, this this Under Armour on, plus a jumper and a body warmer. Well, we were doing a bit of filming for the council earlier with the zombies. Now, when yeah. I walked down to the concert hall, it was a lovely walk. Sun was shining. Walking back, it was brass monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the zombies. In fact, I think have we shared it on Facebook? After this stream, go on Facebook, you'll see the clip that we did for the council. The Have zombie we it on Facebook on our, on our page? Potentially, if not, we can go and share it. But yeah. we're tagged in it, so you should be able to see it anyway. Ah, okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the zombies were actually pretty scary. Yeah, the, the makeup, um, special effects were, were... Up close, you, you obviously, you know, yeah, you, you know something made up, but it's pretty impressive. It was, nice, it was good. And they were really good at making you feel squirmy. Yeah, it's like Ugh, get away from me. It was like <laughs> the kind of noises they were getting in your face. Uh, Kilty bear, don't worry, the top of this doesn't get hot. It's not a real fire. Yeah, it's actually freezing cold. <laughs> yes, yeah. nice and warm down he there. Was, he was I worried that it was, this was going to boil and nah, pop. I see. Thanks for your concern. Because obviously we've got to take care of our whiskey, but it's going to put that up a wee bit because I'm a wee bit cold. That's a wee bit chilly, Willie, isn't it? Mark Stevens, beautiful hound. Oh, Ron Grant's in Atlanta. Yeah, oh, nice. Oh. Um, so we've got Joe Bishop um, saying hello from Vancouver. Right. Um, Fernando LR, what a lovely view to see upon waking. Oh, there we are. Morning, Kathy. Um, so, yeah, if you're thinking about losing weight, then our ebook is a fantastic and free way to start. Yeah, um, we, we, and we break down most things. So, the point we're always trying to make is no matter what program you do, it should adhere to certain principles. Now you can apply this ebook if you like swimming, for instance. You say, oh, I like to, but I'm, I really like my swimming. Great, read the ebook and apply it to your swimming because it's the principles that are important, not the form of exercise. Although we do recommend weight training, it doesn't necessarily have to be. So no matter what you're into, get the ebook and it will help. We can promise. There's over 1,500 people who have downloaded it so far. And the, the feedback we get is just um, crazy. It's insane. Um, people, it's changing people's lives. Um, and then those who then want a little bit of extra help, then there's, there's always options afterwards, but it's certainly not necessary. Just get the ebook to start with. Uh, Daniel Griffin's asking, what is that thing to wrap's right? Well, I'm assuming you mean the bottle because the footage flips. I'm assuming you're meaning that. Because um, yeah. this is actually my right because it's all the footage is flipped. Either that or you're talking about my left, which is the. Punch bag. In case we get mad, kind of go to town on it. We're going to change a few things in here. Uh, we need a new backdrop. Uh, we've got a couple of ideas for that. Right. And uh, we're going to get a shelf up as well for all the whiskey, right? Vinny Harris is blowing his own trumpet. Listen to this one. Oh, really? I recently put some weight on and I'm using your tips to lose it again. Oh, yeah. Happy days, blowing I want to be the sex god the girlfriend says I am. <laughs> <laughs> dude, well, actually, dude. No, that, that's blown it. Trump's out with it and then actually just giving his girlfriend's opinion. You know, she's, I just, and actually, if anything, he's not blowing his own trumpet. He's saying, you know, <laughs> I, I want to be what she thinks I am. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, there was, a, there was a saying I loved it now. I'm going to get this wrong, but it's like, 
Oh man, it's like basically you work on yourself so that you can be the man that everyone thinks you are. And it's yeah. like, yeah, it's like other people's opinions will always be above your own. It's like, yeah, just believe in yourself as much as other people do. Joey Gallon's on. Joey, Joey, he must be double fisting it because he's got he was on YouTube as well and he's jumped to Facebook clearly. Monica's saying that Rav needs a chair as good as Stevens. We're actually hoping to get one now. Cheryl's just commenting you didn't get the chair from Holiday yet yesterday. No, we didn't um, get the chair yet, Cheryl. Um, she's got the van. We just need to go and get it. Smash it in our back doors. <laughs> 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 yeah, we need to get the chair. We need to, because she, she lives on a first floor flat. We've got to get it all the way down the stairs and then into her van. Well, we got it up there, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's when we actually helped her move. We did. We did. did. We yeah. got that and more up there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll need to, we'll need to get on the case for that. Uh, with Jasmine Morgan saying hello from or morning from Canada. <laughs> Just laughing because. Uh, we were on our secret project yesterday. I got Holly to look after Nala for me. So I went around this morning to pick up Nala. And so I rang her and it was quite early. I was like, Holly, I've got wood for you. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, what? And I generally had found two logs um, that when I was out driving and because you got the wood burner, and chucked them in the back of the car. <laughs> I was like, Holly, I've got wood for you. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> I've got wood for you. Open your back door. <laughs> uh, Tons on. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Morning lads from California, having um, a cup of pumpkin spiced coffee from Tina McDougall. Now, why have I seen a lot more of that? Oh, is it not Starbucks does something like that? Yeah, a pumpkin spiced latte or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I've seen yeah, people yeah. have been talking about that recently, whether they like Obviously it or because not. because it's uh, coming out for Halloween. Oh, Halloween. Um, it's funny because obviously the live feed that we did today for the Perth City Centre is all zombies and everything else. Yeah. But we've just been telling people over the past week or so because also the US people asking if we celebrate Halloween over here and we're like yeah not really you know, a few people get dressed up but don't really make a big deal of it these guys are making a big deal of it so tomorrow in Perth there's yeah. this huge zombie maze and people are dressed up and you've got to go through the maze and uh, it looks pretty cool now Ron Grant said some pretty cool just what we are referring to earlier he says be the man your dog thinks you are yeah that's that is awesome awesome isn't it I don't know my dog thinks I'm a twat nah she doesn't She should. So when, when I was so, we were heading out um, yesterday for our secret meeting that we can't really speak about. It's the kind of meeting of the secret kind. Yes, and um, so obviously I was going to get a bit smartly dressed and I was going to get ready. And she is very aware, aren't you, Tilly, um, of what's going on? And she knows when you're going out, and she just follows you around. The, the, honestly, she's filming for like a, a, probably about forty minutes, just on my tail constantly. Just go like that, just chill out. But she's just like, where are you going, Daddy? Where are you going? I know you're going. I know yeah. you're going. Don't lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder what they're saying, eh? Uh, McNab Clan says good morning. Good morning. Of course, it is morning where you are. We are mid-afternoon at the moment of our Friday. And in fact, when we're talking about times, for example, like I was, I was mentioning the live workout that I'll be doing tomorrow, 3 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time plus one. Now, after Saturday, we go back an hour, I so just go back to Greenwich Mean Time, because yeah. daylight savings, so yes, yeah. spring forward, fall back, eh? Yeah, um, so Tina McDougall said, if someone is looking to lose £20, where does one start? Um, right here, so I, I was doing a live feed earlier on, um, and we're, we, the, the most important thing is you set a goal, so and it's all highlighted in our ebook. so get the ebook and read a bit, but it's all about absolutely deciding a hundred percent on your goal and you stop at nothing until you get there that's point number one no ifs no buts like that is a target and and you're going to get there regardless and you just keep moving forward um but then you just have to then okay well what do i do in order to take the first steps in getting there we just say okay let's get started the ebook highlights how your exercise should be formed okay you're going to have to exercise three times a week minimum Okay, if you want to get the results, if you want your body to change, you have to create a new environment for your body because you, everybody's body just adapts to the environment. That's the way every species on the planet but it does. It's, it, we, we just were born, born for survival. So if you get a new environment, the body changes. And that's why we've got so many different species on the planet. But the human body and everybody's body is exactly the same. So when you 
create a stimulus like lifting weights, your muscles basically send the signal to say, right, we need to be bigger and stronger to survive, therefore you get bigger and stronger. So creating a new environment to lose weight is then just, okay, well, how is your exercise formed? Okay, are you, do you like running? Do you like swimming? Do you like cycling? Do you like weight training? Do you like doing um, CrossFit? Do you like doing whatever? Whatever it is, it just there's certain criteria that it should follow. Um, and that's what we highlight in the ebook. Again, so if you want it, just go to our website um, in the menu and just says fat loss, fat loss ebook or maybe free ebook. I can't remember what it says, but anyway, it's there. You'll find it. It's free. Download it. Get the advice, and then your next step is up to you. There's, I mean, there's many, many steps. Yep. Twenty pounds is a good goal. I mean, standard yeah. two pounds a week. Suppose that eight to ten weeks easy, right? Yeah. Jessica was excited to get the ebook. My hubby wants to lose weight, even though I think he is perfect. Nobody's perfect, Jessica. Nobody. No, I think it's only natural that everybody wants to move forward. Everyone wants to, to make progress. And um, Sometimes, though, it's just becoming healthier on you know, the inside. I mean, you might have the, the, the physique and body that you want, but it's nice to get better choices or more informed choices. So sometimes, if it gives you the motivation to um, just do something extra to improve your health, then happy days. If you're already in trim and in shape, but you just take that one step further that maybe prolongs your life a little bit longer, prolongs the suffering that extra couple of years, yep. then, you know, why not? Tina says, I ride four times a week. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> it just reminds me, that, that link of that kind of uh, <laughs> line reminds me, I teach a session on a Tuesday down at a hotel. I've got seven ladies and they're all 50 plus, give or take, yeah. And um, we're just stretching at the end. And one of the ladies quite innocently said, oh, I'm so tight. And one of the other ladies was like, oh, sh stop boasting. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other ones kept piping in, yeah, see how you feel after so many kids. See how you feel when you're 16 hours. <laughs> I'm like, ladies, I'm actually standing here. You know, I can hear everything. <laughs> I saw this to step back, getting closer and closer yeah. to the door. I was like, I don't want to be here for that conversation. It's one of those things like, I can't unhear that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hello from Oklahoma. I've had to cut back on activity recently due to time constraints. I've noticed this before. I'm craving carbs after several days of not working out. What's up with that? Mm, well, craving carbs after several days of not, not working, working out. out. I'm not really sure why that would Yeah, have... I think it all depends on your the rest of your diet as well. You might find as well if you're not working out, I mean, you're saying time constraints. What is it you're doing? If you were fairly busy with the rest of it, mm -hmm. then you might find that you're craving carbs just because... I mean, when I say I'm, I'm, I can't fit in a workout, it's because sometimes I'm looking after the kids. So if I'm looking after the kids, it might mean that I'm sitting with them around the house and then I start to feel hungry because I'm not really doing too much. I'm kind of... I wouldn't say I'm doing nothing, but I'm not working out either. Sometimes if I'm really busy, though, and out and about, if I was clearing out your garage or... Not that yeah, energy. yeah. Um, if it was on the go, but kind of busy, then I don't, I wouldn't think about hunger. I wouldn't crave food. But craving carbs specifically, were you eating a lot of carbs when you were training more, and then the stop is maybe that not that you're craving more. It's just that you're mm. craving because you're not training. And to be honest, the way the human mind works, sometimes if you've got it in your environment, so if you, if you've got carbs in your cupboard, for instance, like um, you've got bread, you've got pasta, rice, potatoes, bananas. Um, something's biscuits and um, cookies and things like this. If you've, if they're in, in eyesight, as soon as your mind starts thinking about it, you you will crave them, and um, there's no getting away from it. So, um, if you're really not keen on having, like, if you if, if you're having carbs, then if you sorry, if you're craving carbs, then there's no real harm in having them as long as you're still creating the calorie deficit um, through through other means. It depends on the rest of your diet, but I always say. You know, we've got certain principles that we can uh, promote. And if you're focused on the food that you should be having, um, and just like said, Rab said, keep yourself busy um, doing different things. Um, if you're just sat about, read a book, um, your your body will, will adapt. I know in the past, if I've gone through a period, say a couple of weeks, for whatever reason, I couldn't fit hard sessions in. For me, if I don't start on the carbs, I'm okay. But if I start on extra carbs, I do crave them a little bit i guess that's similar to what you're saying but i believe that's down to my body 
because I'm in what I would call a state of rest, and it wants to store fat in a state of rest. So the body's like, right, okay. And because I'm not doing a lot, and the carbs are a nice, fast way to store um, as glycogen muscle then stores fat, sometimes you have a, a quick and easy, aren't they? You're, you can have an excellent row of toast, you know, yeah. baguettes and things. Once you start having them, your body says, oh, I quite like that energy coming in. Yeah. We're then not using it, so we're storing it. So then you get into the habit, whereas if I don't have them in the first place, even if I wasn't training, or not, I wouldn't say not have them, but um, certainly not have surplus of them, I don't tend to kind of kickstart that kind of that cycle. So if you are craving them, my advice would be do the opposite and um, cut back on them. Have enough carbs, maybe just have them in the morning or um, later in the day, but have them and then just be quite strict and then hopefully after a couple of days you'll kind of get the, the yeah. hunger to train again. See, see I, I've done this with the wife um, before as well, so conventionally, obviously, and this is what, what you're referring to, if you're not physically active, you could argue that your body doesn't really need carbs because carbs are usually the source of fuel, it's a quick release source of fuel. Um, so normally you can say, okay, cut back on the carbs, focus more on protein, lots of fiber through vegetables, the healthy fats, a nice slow release of energy. I do this with the wife, but actually her body prefers carbohydrates. So if she's not training, as long as she still creates a calorie deficit for that day or, or just maintains her calories um, so that she's not gaining weight, for instance, it's just a case of looking at the other nutrients because just because you're having carbs, you still got protein and fats to look at as well. You're gonna get calories from those too. So there's, there's more than one way to skin a cat um, and it's up to you to analyze that and say, okay, well, can I have carbs if I cut out more of the fat? Have more lean food um, and then you, you shouldn't have a problem. Tina's saying, you try riding a 1,200 pounds of animal between your legs, it's a workout. <laughs> now you really are showing off. <laughs> I always said she's friend to a horse, but I automatically thought of a bull. Yeah, so did I. Yeah. Uh, I was told on the days not working, not working out, taking less calories. Generally speaking, Tina, absolutely yes. You, if you're if you're trying to maintain weight, let's take weight loss out of the equation for a second. If you're just trying to maintain your weight, then you're taking a certain amount of calories, and throughout the day, your body will burn a certain amount of calories. Okay, so you're taking in, you're burning, but on the days you're training, you're then your calorie expenditure is here, um, so then you can take in more calories. If you're not working out, then of course you should just be taking off. Of course you should, um, and if you don't, then you probably slowly put on weight, depending on how many rest days you take. <laughs> Everybody's commenting Godraid. What's this? Godraid. At Godraid. And they're all hashtagging God. I've never heard of that before. No idea, but lots of different people are doing it. <laughs> Godraid. Yeah, no idea what that is. Please explain what Godraid yeah, is. Yeah, explain what that is. Is that a new kind of thing? Um, here for love. Hey guys, Scotland here, Godraid. It's a bot. Ah, so why are they, why is multiple people doing it? Right, let's get this person. Boom! Uh, but there was other people who was doing it as well. The whole bunch of people were commenting that as well. Oscar Rincones is saying, I've just started back on movement and diet, so doing plant-based for a while, at least to clean the something because I can't see the rest of your comment. Why are you doing plant-based for a while? Um, one of our principles, again, and, and I think most PTs and, and nutritionists would agree with us, is if you're doing anything for a short space of time, like I'm doing this for a while, a lot of people say I'm doing this diet for a while, and often you've kind of got ideas in your head of what it's going to do, but your body adapts to your environment, not a short period of your life. Um, so if you want to be fit and healthy, then adapt a, a, or adopt, should I say, adopt a, a diet that you can sustain for the rest of your life. And this is where, when people then join our clan and, and go through our 12-week program, this, this is a, the, the principles that we teach. Every single aspect of the nutrition principles are, are geared up so that you can sustain them for the rest of your life. Because otherwise, what's the point? What is the point in doing something for three months? You're, it's like saying, right, I'm, I'm, I want to be rich, I want to be rich and famous, so I'm going to do this for three months and then I'm, I'm sorted. Right. No, if you want to be rich, you go do something for the rest of your life. Just, it's, a, it's a journey, it's a, it's a full on, it's a life, it's a lifestyle. Being fit and healthy is a lifestyle, not a short period of your life. So, Oscar, 
Let's rethink that one. Greg saying 62 here, 100% plant based here, having porridge with sweet potato, banana, and almond milk. Delish. Sweet potato in your porridge. Ah. Having porridge with sweet potato, banana, and almond milk. Sweet potato in porridge? That was one we never ever did when we did that. Sweet potato in I think I'd like that. No. It's funny because we were talking about that um, last night at our secret meeting. Um, about our 52 ways to do porridge series yeah. now it's interesting because some of our clan members have been going back through and watching our old porridge videos and the endings of the videos are they're genius we used to do a, like a gimmick at the end of every um episode and, and sometimes the gimmick lasts longer than the actual <laughs> of the porridge <laughs> and it, we put more effort into the gimmick the amount of costumes and things we yeah. bought so if you're ever bored and want a little giggle go into our 52 ways to do porridge series <laughs> so it'll be in a playlist and pick one and uh, if you're interested in porridge, watch the first couple of minutes. If you're not interested in porridge, skim to the last <laughs> couple of minutes. And um, <laughs> we did some crackers, didn't so, we? So, uh, George Leon, what do you think about the no carb diet, or is it called, is it, it, it is, is it called the slow carb diet? Um, yeah, a lot of people will, will say no, the no carb diet, but um, it does, it does exist, and I think it's more, actually a, a more recent thing. People are they're only eating meat and fat, so like nuts and things like that, there's yeah. all meat. They don't eat any vegetables, any plant matter at all. Um, it's, just, it's just crazy. It's, it's not just the carbs that you're missing, it's all the micronutrients, all the fiber. Um, it's very hard to get all your vitamins and minerals if you're not having any carbs at all. Um, but they, the slow carb diet is something slightly different. This is what Tim Ferriss um, developed. And the slow carb diet is where you basically have roughly the same meals every day and you don't have any fast release carbohydrates at all. So you can cho choose like, uh, you normally recommend beans, like black beans of, of some kind, um, as your source of carbohydrates. So very slow release. You're going to get a lot of um, fiber from it. You're going to get a little bit of protein from it as well. A good source of protein, a good source of green veg. And if you had that, Monday to Friday, and then he says, then you boost your metabolism by having a bunch of fast carbs on a Saturday. So they sat, everybody starts to love their Saturday because they're just gorging themselves on on, um, on fast release carbohydrates. Um, it can get good results. Um, again, we are in the more in the mindset of let's get a diet that is sustainable. It's, just, it's a nice way of, of living. You can have, you, know, you don't have to wait till Saturday if you really want to have a pizza or a takeaway um, or grab, grab a burger at some point then you know you can just relax with it you can make it up the next day or you can do a bit of workout you can cut back on things and um, it's all about being flexible rather than pinning it down to a specific diet Raphael saying so where is your dogs I'm just here to see them <laughs> Tilly pups have you come Tilly's here my Nala's at home so, wait, wait, wait. so there you are Raphael just for you you can see Tilly right, wait, wait. just make sure that mum right, have you come come on have you come? Coyote saying uh -huh. cranberry country here. On, so come. it's cranberries in the portage. Mm. Good girl, come on. There you go. There you go. Oh, she's climbing up. There you are. Right, sit down. There you go. There's a puppy. Black Labs matter. Once upon a time, she would just sit on my lap, very cosy, just snuggle in. I could just carry her around. Not so much anymore. Those were the days, eh? I know. Doing a video the other day of her. And uh, I did a, a slow mo of her. Yeah. And our girl was in the background as well. He's got like, his long, curly hair. And uh, Tilly's going like this, she's just like this size, she's really small. Oh. Well, those were the days, Tilly Pops. Hey, those were the days. Yeah. They gotta get old eventually. Hey. Right, then you go. You're too heavy. With all the diets, I mean, everyone's mentioning uh, plant based, right, not keto, straight. low carb, slow carb. You've got to find what works for you. I mean, I know that if I followed a routine where I then started eating lots of fast release carbs on a Saturday, Tilly, lie down. I would really, really struggle to get back on track for the Sunday again because that surge, it would, I might even feel unwell. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't have much of a sweet tooth and when I have a bit of sugar, and I do enjoy it, but if I had too much sugar at once, or certainly yeah. fast release, I've not said sugars, but um, I don't know how great I would feel and I'd struggle the next day to get back on motivation. Um, yeah. For me personally, I like something that's steady. I don't know, I would fluctuate carbs, but nothing too extreme to the point where it's going to force me to change or boomerang the other way. Yeah. But that's just me. Some people do enjoy it, so it's got to be what works for you. Definitely, I would agree with that. In fact, there, there, there's lots of different ways of eating and diets out there. Um, 
and there's lots that are absolute nonsense and there's lots that actually do work and are a good way of, of living. Um, what we try to do within our 12-week um, programme is more teach um, about uh, and, and educate our clients about food and you know okay well if you do this this and this this is really what's happening in your body so you understand what happens when you're taking a protein you understand what happens when you're taking a fat and carbohydrates what time of the day and depending on your lifestyle when they should be used roughly speaking so then it's up to you to make your own decisions you don't have to follow a set system where you're counting points or counting calories or anything like that um, you don't have to worry about having you know an off day, or cheat days, or anything like that. You know, it's up to. It's just a, a way of life. You make your own decisions. You eat what you want to eat when you want to eat it, and you, and you, and you just ro roll with it. It's kind of like ice cream, and for me, like I can have ice cream, but my body really doesn't like it. But I still have it now and again because I love ice cream. But I'll have it maybe once every three, three or four weeks because I just really enjoy it. I was sitting I have a whole tub of Ben and Jerry's. It's like, my calories go through the roof, my <laughs> guts are in bits, but I have an awesome time of it. It's just like, yeah, I'm watching a movie and I'm having a tub of this. And it's fine, I don't do it all the time, it's cool, but I suffer the consequences. So it's an, it's an, an educated decision that I have made. And this is what we want from all our clients. It's not a case of, oh, can I have this? And am I allowed this? Am I allowed that? It's like, you're allowed anything you want. This is your life, this is your, these are your choices. It's interesting with ice cream, I mean, literally only a few years ago, if it was a weekend, I'd have a tub of ice cream and just, I'd just eat the whole tub. See, now, I might, I've just changed. I'll have, I'll enjoy it, don't get me wrong, I'll have about a third of it. Yeah. And then I'll put it back in the freezer. Now, the problem is with Ben & Jerry's, as you'll know, if anyone's a Ben & Jerry's veteran, putting it back in the freezer is never, because the first time when you open it, it's, it's soft scoop, you know? When you put it back in, it's not quite the same, but for some reason, a third of it's enough for me now. Yeah. So it's fine if I'm sharing it with the wife and she has a third and then I finish a third of Couple of these later. You're a bit soft on me, yeah. I am, I am. I, s I, I enjoy the couple of flavour, whatever, but unless it was something butterscotch flavour, then I'll just absolutely go to town and I'll eat the cardboard thing it comes in as well. So, Tina McDougall was asking, what's your thoughts on eating clean? For example, um, eating no GMO and no preservatives? Well, over here we would say organic. Uh, organic, basically, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. If you can afford to do it. It also comes back to your. It's our viewpoint on the keto diet as well. Okay, if you can make it work and it's really easy for you, then absolutely, it can be. It can be good. The yeah. keto diet has got its pros and cons. Going organic and and or eating clean, there's no there's no negatives to it. That's as far as I can see. Other than if you stress yourself trying to achieve it, because it's quite difficult. Yeah, because sometimes, like for us, we're okay here because there is organic farms nearby. You could go and. And there are organic farms that sometimes deliver vegetable boxes, etc. But sometimes getting organic produce, you've got to really go out your way to get it. It's yeah, not, it's not yeah. always easy. I always refer back to the study that I read about. And um, in a nutshell, what they had was two groups of people and, the, and they put them in separate rooms. They weren't allowed to talk to each other. They went to one group and they hooked them up to all the, the monitors and everything else. And said, look, we've, got, we've developed um, this donut. And the donuts, everyone knows that donuts are really, really bad for you, but we've developed this donut that's full of fiber, it's got high in protein, it's actually very good for you. It doesn't have any of the bad stuff at all, and it's got loads of big health markers. We're just wondering if it tastes as good as a real donut. Can you taste them for us? And we're just gonna monitor your brain waves and everything else. So that's fine. And then another group, they said, look, everybody knows that a salad is really good for you, um, but actually, did you know that um, the salads do this, the dressing does this, this and this, it's actually really bad for you. Um, can, oh, we were wondering, can you taste um, the difference between you know, a really unhealthy salad? So anyway, they all done this. The, the reality was, there were just actual real donuts and this was just a nice healthy salad, but they, they were convinced that it was the opposite. They, they were convinced that the donuts were healthy and the salad was unhealthy. And the health markers, stress levels, cortisol levels went up for the people eating the salad and all the health markers improved for the people eating the donuts because they believed it was healthy. So, and that in a nutshell, obviously we can't replicate that in real life, but the lesson that you take from it is, yes, eating clean and eating organic might be very good for you on a physical level, but if you stress yourself trying to achieve it and worrying about, oh no, I've just eaten some strawberries and they went organic and I've got all these preservatives now and I've ruined it, your stress yeah. levels go up and it's stress levels that are the killer. They are, like your cortisol levels when it's elevated for too long, that is what makes people ill and unhealthy, not a little bit of preservative. Your body can deal with a certain amount of toxins.
so I wouldn't stress too much about it. Chill that. But I suppose it is different in the States, let's take chicken. Now over here, we've got different regulations and whatnot, but over in the States, I believe they wash their chickens with bleach beforehand because they're more battery chickens. Certain chickens can be. There's a lot more stuff. Regulations right, okay. different in the States than it is here. So even our standard chickens here, we probably have far less stuff done to it than... Because that's where we're quite lucky over here because the regulations. Mm -hmm. So we've got our chicken, and I'm just using chicken as an example, but other produce, meats and vegetables. Um, tend to have good regulations anyway and then we've got the premium which is then our, our organic mm -hmm. so yeah. I suppose over there um, my understanding is that the standard can be quite I think you yeah. can virtually taste the difference there do you know see, see if it is on, on a physical level I, and I, I said this probably six months or so ago that I was like I'd be very happy if I never ate chicken again it's just like just the way they're farmed the way they're kept um, it's very difficult to get a a, a chicken that has lived a very natural life and I thought do you know what I'm going to eat I'm, I'm still a meat eater I can't see but I'm, I'm only going to eat game I'm going to eat things that have been living in its natural environment they're not farmed as such um, but the reality is it's just too bland it's too difficult right <laughs> yeah. the chicken's so versatile like, oh, you know what it's just not worth you know being miserable over I mean, you're used to the life. same birds for your whole life then why, why change, change right <laughs> <laughs> Um, Cheryl saying our FDA is behind the eight ball here on some things. Yeah, can I believe that? Hello from Picton, Ontario. Picton? Thomas Walter James Bell. Christ. Sound like an inventor. Yeah. And Nick Wilson. Good morning from um, is it Louisville? Louisville. Louisville. Oh no! I hope that's not up there with another. Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> no, Arkansas. 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 KY Ghost Hunt, USA. Ah, KY is, it, is it pronounced Louisville, is it? Ah. Um, Cheryl said, My husband came home with chicken last week from the supermarket and it had green muscle disease. Wow. Nice. Green muscle disease. Green muscle disease. Ah. Never heard of that one. I, I saw, saw something I saw. shared on, um, it was on Uncle Ben's rice, and somebody shared it online, and it's remarkably, it's kind of put me off Uncle Ben's rice, and it was a mouse in amongst the rice. No. And it was, like, congealed in the bottom. So obviously somehow it happened in the factory. The yeah. person's post was like, basically, they, obviously Uncle Ben's rice, they, you know, you cut the bit off, chuck it in the microwave for two minutes, obviously it was stinking. Oh, man. So now, like... Even if I pulled an Uncle Ben's rice of a cupboard, I would kind of squeeze the bottom just to kind well, of... Well, see, I do that anyway, because I, I much prefer... Break it up. You, you break all the rice up first, yeah. then, you, then you microwave it. But well, ever since... If, it's going to take me a while to kind of forget about that yeah. post now. Uh, Oscar's off. It's time to get ready for work. As always, thanks for the inspiration. Muchachos. Muchachos. You're welcome, Oscar. So um, remember, if you are looking to lose weight or even, th or even for a friend, um, you can download our Fat Loss ebook. It's free. Free. Just go to the website, thekiltedcoaches.com, and it's in the menu, Fat Loss ebook. Or if you're on Facebook, you just send us uh, a message to the page in just the single word. Nothing else, just say ebook. Remember, it's a private message. Do not comment on this post ebook because yeah. a bunch of people did that before. Um, don't put anything else in the message because a bunch of people did that before. You will not get it unless you just private message one word only ebook. Yeah, and it's a one whole word. It's not e then book. It's just ebook. 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 E -book. E -book. Um, right. Did we call it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The yeah. number of chatting on bits and pieces. Book. So um, thanks for stopping by. Now, live workout tomorrow with myself in the woods for those that are tuning in. So it'll be 3 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time plus one. Uh, you'll need a kettlebell. The warm up is going to be on Instagram. If you're um, unsure about all these details, go onto our Twitter page and you can get it all there. Uh, come along and give it a go. There we are. Boom. We'll speak to you soon. We'll Thanks for stopping by. Ha, 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 um, ha, ha. How do we stop this? There we go.